love and light collective love and light and welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for joining me today we're going to do some energy clearing before we start So I wanted to go ahead and do a love reading and see where the love energy is coming at, what's what to expect. This could be new love. This could be a situation of a new person who's done the work that's ready to come in. This could be somebody from the past. We're, we're just going to keep it open and see. Um, I know I had a lot of questions about this singing bowl here. And this singing bowl is in the um, hertz frequency of your heart chakra. If you guys are interested, there will be a link down below where you guys can go ahead and look if you wanted to get one yourself or see different ones that you wanna purchase. Um, I highly suggest that you work, you know, I've been working with a lot of crystals. I've been working with a lot of, um, you know, just things to help our vibration elevate. So yeah, if you're interested, that will be in the description box below. But let's go ahead and pray and get into this love reading. Father God, angels, divine Holy Spirit, please go ahead and protect my channel, protect my intuition, and protect the viewers that clicked on this video. Send them the same energy that they are sending myself. If they are sending love and light, please send that back to them 10 times over. And if they are sending any evil eye, bad intention, just return to the Most High and let the Most High deal with it as He seems fit. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead. And I've been introducing um, little crystals that I've been working with and since this is a love reading I definitely am going to show you this um why am I forgetting it well this crystal here why am I not remember rose quartz there we go rose quartz crystal and for some reason the last crystals that I have been using have all been raw raw crystals so um, if you guys are using crystals, I highly suggest that you pick up some raw crystals. There's something so uh, real, I guess, about these raw ones, but this is a raw um, rose quartz crystal. And we're going to be using this in our reading today for this love reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can expect around this. Okay, they also told me stick with that pink energy. So we're gonna go ahead and use this deck here. I don't know why, but on the calendar that I have, it says that it is a full moon today, which it's not, but it is the 22nd and they say it is a full moon. So I've been treating it like such. There has to be some kind of reason for that in my life. So um, I've been treating it like it is a full moon right now. So I'm using this energy to really manifest my heart's desires, really take the time to purge out any last residual energy and claim in the things that I want. So I don't know if you guys have been doing that too, but I looked on the calendar and I'm like, okay, it says it's a full moon. I even looked it up and it's not a full moon. So I don't know. Take that how it resonates. But let's go ahead and dive into this reading. Here after it message here, what can the collective see regarding this love? Okay, we have Earth, home. So I feel like a lot of you guys have been, like I said myself, I've been spending a lot of time at home. I've been, I just did a huge deep clean to the point where I like um, scrubbed my carpets, my, my area rugs. I literally scrubbed them. I washed them all down, soaked them, had them out air drying. And I did like every, deep cleaning my whole home, just getting rid of all this energy right there's just so much energy so maybe there's something around your home life that needs a little more attention or maybe you guys have just been spending extra time at home in your in your sanctuary in your comfort zone in your in your environment right really focusing on that heart right 15 which breaks down to a six so maybe some of you guys while you are in your home you are reminiscing maybe you're thinking of things or places from the past right whatever it is there is a big um energy around home and earth 
also earth is our home right so also get out in the earth get out in nature and connect back home to your your god um to god to your guides connect back to earth to get to your home if that makes sense goodness it's a tongue twister okay time I feel like all of this has been a lot of time, whatever it is. Maybe this love situation has taken a lot of time. I know in the Divine Feminine reading, it was, um, you know, does it mean that I'm on my right path if I'm alone? And yes, it does mean you're on your right path. It doesn't mean that you're not successful if you are alone. You can be happy and abundant alone. And I want to be the example of that, right? I know on this platform, I do talk about divine feminine and divine masculine and high level soulmates and twin flames and all of this, right? But I do always want you guys to understand that God is always there. Even when we are alone, we're never alone, right? And I want to start bringing more of that in and just having the collective remember because I'm happy even though I am alone. I've been single for so long. I've been celibate for so long, but I have, I'm still happy. I'm still thriving. I'm still loving the life that I have. And if this is going to be my life, I'm okay with that. And I want to be the example that you don't need someone to feel successful. Yes, it would be nice to have that companion. And yes, it would be nice to find your equal um, who you're equally yoked with, of course. But if that doesn't happen, and some people don't even want that, but if it doesn't happen, that's okay too. And I want to be able to show you guys that, right? I want you guys to be able to understand that, hey, sometimes you have children with people that it doesn't work out. Sometimes the person that you thought you were supposed to be with isn't the person that you're supposed to be with. Some people go through huge divorce, huge separation, huge heartache. I've been through it but you can still be happy. And even if you don't find that person or even if you don't want to get back in another relationship, that's okay too. You can still be happy, you can still be successful, okay? So I just wanna be that example as well. And when you can fully you know, accept that, that's usually when you'll find people that come into your life, okay? So just keep that in mind, but I do feel like there has been a lot of time that you guys put into yourself there has been a lot of time that you have been um, disciplined, right? If you guys, like myself, have been single or have been on a celibate um, journey, it has taken a lot of discipline, right? If you guys have put in a lot of time healing your love situation, healing your heart, it has taken a lot of time. And that's okay, too. Wow. Okay, we'll take this away. Okay. Yeah desert solitariness so yes this is exactly what i'm talking about i feel like this you guys who i've been talking to um there has been a big alone time or maybe you're going to be entering in this alone time but i feel like for the collective that really are on the same timeline as me and that really resonate with my platform you have been in this healing journey maybe you guys have had heartache maybe you guys have had loss maybe you just haven't found that one and that is okay too it's okay to be alone it's okay when you are alone with yourself and you feel content with yourself and you're not looking outside yourself for oh i'm bored at home alone or oh i'm you know not comfortable being alone or i always need someone by me there's usually a deeper root in that right i remember being alone so much as a child just spending time alone you know i let my son have alone time as well sometimes i just say son i need a moment right like right now he's alone doing his things i'm alone doing my things and he's okay with that all right and as we are able to you know that it needs to start starting it off young is a good thing being able to be alone with yourself is a good thing okay wow because you've spent time focusing on you know that isolating energy like we see like we've seen now there is going to cause this change this uh, 24 breaking down to a six but their wind right wind creates change like i said god is like the wind i always tell my son that you can't see the wind but you can feel the wind you can hear the wind and boy does the wind make a change right 
I feel like there's some big breeze of wind that's just gonna come and sweep the collective who have been doing the work, who have been alone. Some big breeze is just gonna come and sweep you off and create this big change. It's gonna change your whole entire world. This could be in a good way, this could be in a bad way, but I do feel like it's more in a positive. If you have been doing the work, if you have been doing, you know, focusing on yourself, being alone, taking the time to heal your heart, taking taking all the time you need, there is this really big change regarding your love life, your love situation. And I feel like it's going to change mostly your outer core. I feel like the outer appearance of you, it's going to change, right? Maybe your body will be changing. Maybe your emotions with all this water will be changing, but 12 breaking down to a three, whatever you're manifesting in your love life, if you have been alone and doing the work, something is about to change for you. So congratulations. Let's not forget this rose quartz, okay? Something raw and real with that. And I feel like for the collective, you have been raw with yourself. Like, okay, you know what? I have been alone or I haven't found the one or I've been dating and I just, I can't find somebody that I really enjoy, right? And so you pull back and you really focus on yourself and you just stay alone and you stay in that home-like energy, right? That really introverted energy. I feel like there's going to be something that just kind of sweeps you up. You see how she's just swept up in her whole entire world, everything around her, that outer core is swept up with it. I feel like something is going to sweep you up collective. But let's go ahead and dive into some of these love cards. Get ready, I'm here. Get ready. Get ready. If you are a masculine, I did a masculine reading. I highly suggest it out. And I also did a feminine reading. I mean, see, even though, like, when I started this platform, I was like, should I do signs? Like, you know, um, the zodiac signs? And I'm like, no, because we embody everything in us. I was put on this platform to talk about the, you know, connecting our higher self with the most high. So getting a relationship with God or your higher power or whoever you call on, right? And then I also started breaking up because in order to gain that connection with your higher self, that higher power, you need to master the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Now we all have feminine and masculine energy within us both. But the reason why I say divine is because we have a lower self and we have a higher self. And in order to call in the love you want, call in the highest vibrational love in all areas, work, friends, relationships, whatever it is, you need to connect with that divine, that divinity, connecting with God. And that is why I was placed on this channel. Because, you know, I sometimes I kind of lose focus and I'm like, what was the mission again? What was the mission on this platform? Because, you know, with tarot can get really juicy and drama filled and you can pick up on so many different energy and I really have to pull back and ask God what was my mission and that's my mission is to just gain both of ourselves in alignment with the divinity with the divine so that we can claim in the love we want right in all areas not just relationships but all areas of our life okay Thank you for liking the video. If you ooh, resonate with that, goodness, hold on. Wow, this is beautiful. So it says, it says, this could be the one. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about somebody or you think, hmm, could that be the person? Yes, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And it says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest vibration of all, the highest energy of all. Wow, very beautiful. Your spirit babies are all around this. So if I have time, I will definitely come back and do a spirit baby message as well. But it is safe for you to love. It did take a lot of time, right? But it is safe for you to love. And the person that you are thinking about that is heavy on your heart is the one. Or this could be the one. Okay? So that is very beautiful, Collective. What else do we see here, Spirit? Oh, goodness. Too many. 
clear, accurate message. What else do we see regarding this love situation? Okay, we got two more. Goodness. Okay, it says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I feel like because you've taken the time to align yourself, right? Because you've taken the time to follow that divinity, that mass, divine masculine, divine feminine within you, within yourself, and raise your vibration to that highest level, this is why you're getting this, right? Your love life is influenced by your religious and spiritual path. So this, this is why you're getting these high level connections. This is why it is safe for you to love. This is why this could be the one, right? Wow, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is why, because you took the time. You stayed in solitude, right? While everyone else was dating, while everyone else was, you know, moving in their life with other people and other relationships you said no i'm gonna wait on divine timing when people called you crazy for waiting when people called you crazy for staying at home and staying in that hermit when people called you crazy for missing out wasting your years you said no i'm gonna wait on divine timing i know what god has for me is something great i still need to i'm gonna wait okay i'm gonna wait I'm going to heal, I'm going to focus on myself, I'm going to put the work in, and it says this is a true, your true love, a love of a lifetime. So collective, this message is for people that have been in that hermit-like energy, have been doing the work, have been healing, have been going within themselves, and it has taken you time. This is not something that, oh, okay, I've been dating, and I've been, you know, just, I gave up for a week, and I've been a, no you guys have taken some time there are one two three four five so six so this could be wow six years like myself god i hope not but it could be six months six weeks even but something about six okay this has been such a long time for you okay I didn't ever count those clocks, but there are six of them there. <laughs> and I've been in this energy for six years. So I claim this for myself. Maybe there's a huge win that's gonna change something for me. I hope so. But um, if not, like we said, we're totally fine with being in that home-like, very grounded energy. We are totally fine with being in that solitariness, right? We're, we're okay with that, right? We can laugh about it. We're not upset about it, but there is this change coming that is going to change this outer core. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. It's saying it's safe for you to love. The reason why you're getting this true love is because you've spent that time to focus on your religious and your spiritual path. You focused on gaining a higher level of self with spirit and with your divine, right? Beautiful energy. Okay, there's only, that's enough of that. Okay, let's go ahead into a couple more of these and then we will close out. So congratulations, Colette. Congratulations. I've been saying congratulations in all the videos because I just feel like we've done so much work. We've done so much healing. We've been through such cycle, right? And I feel like this next cycle is going to be really, really exciting for us. I really feel that. Like the video, claim this in, drop some hearts below, say, I am lovable, I do have a true love. Well, the bottom of the deck, I do have a true love, true love. Wow, this is all aligning so beautifully, collective. Okay, it says, actions speak loudly, express your love through action. Okay, it says, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things that life has to offer. And then it says, back to what you love, reevaluate your desires, and then true love. Okay, so when this love comes in, right? But also speak, you know, actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. So show love right if you want more love in your life do loving things for other people express your love through actions stop and help somebody you know stop and help animals stop and express your love and that's going to show the universe show god that you want more love in right 
And then it says, love who you are. Love the person you are. How can you claim the highest vibrational of love in if you do not love yourself 100%? Flaws and all, right? Everything about you is lovable, collective. You are lovable just the way you are, okay? You may have work to do. You may have some things where you're like, I'm not 100% in this area. It's okay. Love that anyway, right? And then it says, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. So I'm hearing just go back to the basics. What are those simple things that you want? What are those simple love things that you want to do, what you want to express, right? You just want to take walks in the park or walks on the beach. Do you just want to have simple dinners? Do you just want to have somebody to cuddle with, somebody to talk to at the end of the day, right? Really reevaluate what it is that you want out of life and then really understand that this is your true love, right? This is a love once in a lifetime. But I feel like we have to really reevaluate our desires, okay? This is such a beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and what time are we? 20 minutes already. So we'll keep it short. They're saying get a spirit baby message. So this isn't a spirit baby reading, but they do want your spirit babies to come through. So let's see. What do the spirit babies have to say for mommy and daddy in this love reading? Let's see. Just a ooh. adoption. So maybe some of you guys, if this is like um, a situation coming in, if you are older, maybe you guys will be adopting children. Or maybe if you guys have children, you guys will be like adopting each other's children. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But there is a big thing of adoption here. I always said if I'm not able to fully have children, um, if I get too old to have children, I would not... I would not mind adopting. There are so many animals and um, babies in this world that just need that love, right? And if you can't have children or if you just don't want to have children, um, there's nothing wrong with a loving and adopting a child that's already here that just is really dependent and needing that love. What a difference that can make. That is a true, that is a true, true, true action of love when you can love another child as if they were your own and they're not that to me it makes me emotional because to me it speaks volumes you know it really does it speaks volumes what else do we have here spirit goodness we communicate with you through music so your spirit babies are saying they communicate with you through music Daddy, mommy needs you right now. She is stressing without you. And take us in nature to calm us down. We love to connect back. Okay, so that is beautiful. So if there is a masculine energy, a man watching, it's saying that mommy needs you right now. She is stressing without you. And then your spirit babies or your children that are already here that just want you to love them are saying, take us in nature when we get when we get stressed out. Connect back to Mother Earth. That's how we calm down and we connect. Okay, let's get an angel guidance and we'll close out. I love that I pulled these, these, um, these spirit baby cards because I'm not only getting with adoption coming out, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like this is children that are already here. Like I feel like these are children. Maybe the person that you're watching this for has children right and maybe their children are communicating with you through music and saying daddy mommy needs you right now she is stressing out or vice versa right and it's saying they're saying take us in nature to calm us down we love to connect back okay so these are tips from these children that i feel that are already here okay maybe you will be adopting children that your partner or your significant other or this true love connection already has and they're just saying like these are the these are what these children are saying okay and i feel like these aren't spirit babies i feel like these are physical children that are here in this in this earth already okay one message one message 
innocence, beautiful, picking up on this childlike energy. It says, beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may, sur that may shred your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Okay, so, and look, she's carrying a baby here. Beautiful. So I do feel like if there is some kind of guilt or anger or anything, because it feels like um, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So I feel like this is somebody that you may already know, collective. And if it is, and there is some guilt on either side regarding this situation, I'm feeling like your angels and your ancestors and God is just saying, give it to us you know let that heaviness go beloved one everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter god's handiwork of perfection so whatever happened in the situation it was intended to happen that way so i feel like maybe some of you guys are feeling of like feeling guilty of something or some way and god and your angels are saying let that go you are guiltless in truth Stand in your truth, speak your truth, go after your truth. But then also know that God's, God set it up to be this way. God made it all happen this way. And this is the way that it had to happen. If one thing was switched, you wouldn't be in the situation and in the mindset and in the place that you are right now. Okay, so we must remember that. We have to understand that. We are right where we need to be. Let go of the guilt, let go of the anger, and stop blaming yourself. You are guiltless when you stand in truth. All right, guys, this is the reading. I hope you guys liked it. Go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.